Hi, my name is David Voxton. I'm a director in Skims London office. We test thousands and thousands of product related communications every year. And we had a closer look at sustainability communications. So we did a meta analysis of many of these claims and I wanted to share with you three key conclusions that we came to in that process. The first one is that in order to maximize product consideration, you need to combine uh, both functional and sustainability claims. And what I mean by that is that there's never an excuse to compromise on the core promise of your product, such as quality, taste, efficacy, uh, just because it's now also more sustainable. So thinking, for example, about a veggie burger, it's a bit sad in the 90s, you're at a barbecue, it's full of sweet corn and carrots, compared to today, where you've got an impossible burger, or a Beyond Meat burger, or any other amazing plant-based burger. The former compromise on taste, um, but the latter did not, and both are sustainable. And the market has grown explosively over the past five years as a result. The second key conclusion is that the claims around sustainability you make around your product, they have to be really relevant for the consumer and the category. So if I'm thinking about a cup of coffee, for example, the first thing I'm thinking about is probably not carbon neutrality. Uh, however, I'm thinking about the rainforest, I'm thinking about farmers. So if you can address really relevant concerns for me as a consumer, again, my consideration for your product will increase. If I'm thinking about my electricity bill, carbon neutrality is probably much higher up. So that's where that might be a really, really relevant sustainability benefit to communicate around. The third key conclusion that I want to share with you is um, focus on going all the way, focus on the 100%. Uh, a lot of clients that we work with are on really ambitious journeys, uh, but they take time. I'm thinking about Coke, for example, um, releasing a bottle that was made from 50% um, recycled plastics. Amazing achievement. But if you communicate that to me as a consumer, I'm thinking about the other 50%, where do they come from, and the oceans, etc. So it's always great to focus on the 100%. Uh, once you reach that step of your journey, consumers will be super impressed and they will get on board. So thanks. Three conclusions. So if you'd like to know more on these three conclusions and the implications for your category, get in touch. Thanks.